Hey everybody, Rick Ward, the Urban Air Gunner. Welcome back to the channel. Um, I was going, working on some stuff the other day and, and um, you know, I'm not a gunsmith by any means, but I do have a pretty fair collection of old uh, guns that are sentimental, you know, uh, rim fires of my childhood. And, um, you know, periodically you need to go through there and check those things and, and make sure the screws are tight and, um, for example, um, this one's unloaded. I've, I've already checked it, but this is a uh, this is an original Ruger single six, uh, what they call the three screw. There's one, two, three screws right there, and this was my dad's pistol. And um, over the years, you know, you shoot it a lot. Things become loose and different things. Well. You don't want to just take any old screwdriver that you think, well, yeah, it'll fit the slot, but mm, it may fit that slot, but that screw could be just tight enough, or maybe you're trying to tighten it down, and that screwdriver is going to slip and skid across there and just gouge the metal, mess up the bluing. So that's the last thing you want to do. But I picked up this really cool uh, master bit set at Brownells and it is awesome. Um, it has got every kind of screwdriver thickness you could think of and um, what so it comes with um, all kind of really cool stuff. Um, it's got a it's got a magnetic uh, handle in it right here your large long handle and it's got a stubby but what and then it's got a chart up here too that tells you what the thicknesses are of each one of these bits and uh, you have hex heads you have some phillips you have some square drive uh and then you have your allen wrenches and these work on air gun scopes too and, and different parts of like the air force air guns periodically you need to make sure those grub screws are all tight um so this uh particular set is absolutely just it's a game changer in everything you do um there are a lot of bits now this is the master set they call it you can uh, actually if you can see the the little gray shaded areas in there um, that's kind of like the starter kit uh if you were just to buy the basic bits um there's some little gray shaded areas in there that give you the part number on what bit it is and then there's a chart over on the on the side right here um, this chart tells you the dimensions and diameters and um, the measurement of each one of the bits. And that's it right there. Now, uh, I've got this old Ruger, again, this, this old single six. Uh, this was my dad's pistol. And it's absolutely was the holy grail growing up. I mean, you know, when dad let me take this out coon hunting or trapping you know on my trap line you know i thought i was thought i was king of the world i mean this is absolutely one of my my all-time favorites but if you as you can see there's there's three screws right there that's called a ruger three screw single six uh there's some screws here on the back uh on the strip on the strap back here and then you have your grip screw and then you have a screw right here on the on the ejector and then you have a screw right here that is actually when you uh, to take your cylinder out here's the story behind <laughs> here's the story behind it um one once upon a time uh when i was a kid i wanted to shoot this gun so bad and my dad was really really picky about this gun so my brother and i were out shooting this gun now this is way back in the 80s uh we were out shooting this gun and all of a sudden uh i realized that the screw had fallen out right here now this is what you push in to take this pin it holds your cylinder it's like your cylinder axle um there's a spring in there and there's there's a, two screws that, that screw together i noticed that was gone it was missing. Had my dad found out, I would have been up the creek. My little brother said, hey, let's grab an ink pen and cut the spring down. 
And so to this very day, there's, there's a spring off of a big pin <laughs> in, in here. Uh, back in those days, I didn't know what Loctite was. Um, actually, I've never Loctited it. Um, I need to. I don't shoot it a whole lot anymore. But I tell you that to say this. So maintenance on your guns. A lot of guns have push pins in them. I get it. Uh, but there's also a lot of older guns like this. And you can actually take your uh, magnetic tip so you don't lose it. And this screwdriver, it's not like an average screwdriver. It is made to fit right inside the screw and it's not gonna, it doesn't surpass the, the outside diameter of the screw. And it's also the same uh, width of the channel of the screw. So basically, if you just had a small screwdriver and you're trying to tighten it up and you're, you're turning it and all of a sudden scratch, big gouge down the side of that. So this has just about every kind of screw bit in it. And what I do is from time to time, I just go and I check and make sure that everything is just snug. And then there's um, another, another one right here that I can put in. And that actually fits into this one and it, it's snug you just check it I mean you don't I, it's not loose so uh, but periodically I like to check them just because at once upon a time that spring I lost that that spring in there and so you can find the uh, the screw that is gonna fit like this uh, screwdriver bit is a tad bit too small so we will go with the next size up and we will put it right in there and that's kind of on the small side and so you take this one and that one fits just right so we put it in the in the bit driver magnetic tip and I'm gonna stick it right in there and I'm just gonna snug it see that one's kind of it's kind of loose uh, it probably wouldn't hurt for me to put some removable Loctite on it at some point but again I don't shoot it very often particular it wouldn't hurt to put a little bit of removable loctite um and I, i'll do that on a on another day but i just like to go in here and check and make sure that the screws are snug but now i know that all the screws on this are snugged up and this bit driver is just absolutely the most wonderful product that I've ever seen and ever used because it has everything you need but again they're they're numbered and it tells you line by line where they go and uh, for example if you're doing scopes okay so I have a uh, set of BKL or a BKL double strap scope ring right here and um, uh, good old USA made uh, scope rings for rim fire and air guns. So this is it right here. Uh, the great thing about these is that Air Force air guns doesn't want you to mess anything up. So uh, when they put when they when they put them in the box, it actually comes with directions to tell you exactly what you need to do to to put them on there to be successful and not mess up your scope or over tighten these these are made out of high grade aircraft aluminum they also put in an allen wrench okay so if you misplace the allen wrench or maybe maybe you've got a set of scope rings you don't have an allen wrench to fit it uh, the great thing about it is you take this bit set from brown ales and you find the bit you need and there it is right there and we'll use the longer magnetic see it's magnetic so it doesn't fall out uh, but you can take it and you can put it right in there and give her a twist and it's the right size bit for almost every type of, of gun 
screw and bolt made. It, it fits really snug in there. So absolutely a great, great product. It is a must have product for uh, anybody that wants to do some gunsmithing or put on scope rings or, you know, just check out all your, um, all your old uh, guns. If you're like me and don't really know a lot about how to fix guns, <laughs> that's not going to really help you out other than uh, you're not going to scratch your guns up by using just some old screwdriver you found out in your toolbox. I mean, that's the beauty of this. There is a tool for just about everything that you would find on a gun. Uh, the only one that, that is not in here are the um, Torx bits. And there there's some scope rings that have the the little Torx type bit, which I think they offer them. Um, I, I didn't look at it when I ordered it. I just ordered the master bit set. And uh, I noticed that uh, there wasn't a Torx, but I, I'm almost 90% sure that they would offer um, that. And you can actually just, you know, put them down in the tray. There's a, like a little tray right here where your stubby screwdriver goes. Uh, there's plenty of room for it right there. And so the thickness of the screws and the width, the diameter, um, whether you're working on a shotgun or a, uh, just whatever. Brownells has got the most awesome screwdriver set uh, that I've ever owned. And I really dig it. So uh, guys, if you're looking for a set that you can put on your workbench when you're working on guns or air guns, scopes, anything, the master bit set. You can find it at brownells.com. That's where I got it. So anyway, just a little, just a little tool tech tip there that uh, I found that really works for me. So uh, whether you're working on a firearm or an air rifle or model airplane, I mean, that would probably do it. So anyway, guys, Rick Ward, the Urban Air Gunner. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Uh, hit the bell so you know when I put up a new video, uh, you'll get a, a notification that says, hey, uh, that bonehead Urban Air Gunner just put up something new. Let's go laugh at him a little bit. So anyway, there you go. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. God bless you. Uh, remember, don't just hunt it. Air gun it. It's Rick Ward, Urban Air Gunner. Catch you next time.